Well, hey, YouTube fam. It's your girl, uh, Raquel. Well, aka Little Cute Nurse. I'm back with this Ulta haul. I've been waiting for this stuff. It seems like forever. Forever. I don't know what's going on. It usually doesn't take this long to get orders from Ulta, but I don't know. I don't know. I will be going to the store for now. Anyway, let's just get started. The very first thing I want to share with you guys I got was uh, two things from this I Care um, line, skincare line. They got a lot of skincare products, but I only just grabbed this one. And that's this Hang Tight Tightening Tea Tree Clay Mask. And this is what the container looks like. I opened this this morning and I ended up putting it on my face after I had just did a mask because it is a liquid. It's a clay mask. Can y'all see that? But it's a liquid. And I just opened the thing. It's going to be a stick mud and it wastes everywhere. Can you hear that? Yes. And it has like little sand particles in it. So you put it on and you just scrub it in and then just sit 15, uh, I think it said 15, 20 minutes. And then wash it off. It works great for me. Just awesome. Awesome. Didn't mean to use this morning, but I'm going to keep using it and see because I'm getting some results from all the stuff I'm using. I'll probably try to get a skincare regimen or just show you the stuff that I'm using for my skin. Uh, and I also ordered this eye care. Well, it, I didn't show you. It came in a little box. Like my box is all beat up. I guess it took crap. And you know what? This is how it came. But the box is all beat up. And anyway, it's just a little headband for doing mask. And this is by the company I care. They had brown and they had um, I think it was pink or white. But I went with the brown because no makeup's gonna get all over it. And the last thing in skincare I picked up was I absolutely love this. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely do a video on my uh, favorite products. That's what I'm going to do because this is a repurchase for me. The one I have upstairs is almost empty. This truly takes off your makeup with no issue. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off. This is my second time purchasing this. I did get the pharmacy one. It's a lot more expensive. I use it a lot faster and it don't melt off your makeup as good as this Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. I like it. Really like it. Um, okay, let me move right along. Also, I got this uh, liquid facial soap oily skin formula from Clinique. I guess this is a deluxe sample size. When I ordered the um, makeup remover, this cleanser came with it. And that's great because I like to do two steps use the makeup remover to take it off and then go back again and wash my face. So, this uh, gel massage will work. I'm going to test it out. If you like it, I may just go get it. Alright. Oh, and I got this new, everybody's, everybody's talking about this blender. So I had to get it. L'Oreal Artist, Artist Invaluable Blender. Beauty Blender. I don't remember how much it was. And of course, also don't put the prices on there. But Casey Holmes really liked this. That's what made me get this really. So, um, I'm going to be checking it out. But to be honest, them Equate Beauty Blenders were on I really love it. It reminds me of the Beauty Blender, but I'm going to check this one out. Check this one out. Mind you, Equipments, I got three of them for five bucks. So Now, on to makeup. Let's see. Let's go with um, the Sleep Palettes. I got two blushes by, blush by three. I got the one in Flame. And I like bleach, uh, bleach, bleach. I don't, I like bleach to clean with, but not on my face. Anyway, I like sleek. <laughs> I really do. I got one of their uh, contour palettes and it's beat up. It is really beat up. So that's why I ordered to get a new one. But these are the shades. Real pretty. Real pretty orange. I'll just do two of them. And the pigmentation is wow. I love them. So I have to check out their blushes because I love their. Uh, contour palette so much and I also picked up a new contour palette because mine is gone this is a face form contouring and blush in dark and the one I had a, I guess it was years ago I got it only had two now it comes it has a mirror as well but it, it comes with 
a blush, a highlight, and a contour. Yeah. I know I'm going to like this because I really love the old one I have. It just has two sides and it's old and it's beyond painting. So, yes. Yeah. And one thing I have really been wanting, I've been wanting to try this forever, and I finally picked it up. And it's the, because I like to do both cream and uh, powder contour. I don't know why, I know it's like double duty, but I do it because it have to hide my stuff under these spots and dots and stuff. Um, the color I have is in deep, and this is the Pure Cameo Contour Stick. And yeah, it came with a blender. I opened this this morning like, what? Okay, all right, a pure cosmetic blender. I heard a lot about these, so it'll be fun to try this out. And here's the contour stick. Who is it? The Maya Catcher uses this all the time. And I been said I was gonna get it, so I definitely went ahead and picked it up. This is the contour side. It might be a little too dark. This might be, but we'll see. I didn't want to get too light because most contour sticks just not light enough. And this is the highlight end, which I know I probably won't be using. I'll probably play with it to see. But yeah, let me swatch the other end too. Yeah, that's pretty dark. It might be just right. That's going to be just right. Okay. All right. And it's really creamy. Really creamy. So let's move right on along here. The next thing I picked up was this. I've been wanting to try this for the longest. And this is NYX Total Control Drops. Um, this is, uh, what color did I get? Hmm, let me open it up and see if it's on the bottle. I think it's chestnut. I'm not mistaken, but this is what it looks like. I know everybody's seen this because it's all over YouTube. I'm just late on the bus getting it, and it has a little dropper on there. Probably check this out and try it tomorrow. See how it works for me. Cappuccino, that's what this is. And cappuccino, I'm gonna definitely check this out. Total control, see if it controls my oil deep foundation. Okay. The next thing I'm going to say, Desi made me get it. She did a review on this product. And I, she was kind of on the iffy about it. She didn't say she really liked it or not. And um, she was having issues with two different shades. So that's what made me purchase this. And this is the Renew Hope in a Jar Skin Tint. Uh, philosophy. Live with optimism. Renew with hope. Uh, whipped Water Gel Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen. Hmm. It's a souffle. And I got uh, cocoa. I think cocoa was the darkest shade. And I know I didn't want to get that lighter shade that Daisy had because it didn't look like it would work. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And see mine, I was kind of pissed off. Y'all see that big old hole in there? Ain't no product down in there. That's just a hole. Like I got a, a jar full of air. Yeah, but I'm gonna try this out before I complain too much. But. That's air, and this wasn't really cheap, so I want to know why I got dead in like that. <laughs> but then, too, I guess is that enough product to be stuck on the top? That could be why. <laughs> but I'm gonna give this a try, too. Uh, the next thing I got was two. The only reason I got these is because they were on sale the John Michael Biscott lipsticks. Um, and I like the packaging. I like the history behind him because, which to be honest, I had never really heard of him. I don't know how, but I guess I'm not all that into art. But I'd never heard of John Michael Biscott, not even in school. But yeah, I got two of the lipsticks. The first one I got, uh, I love. Oh, I love the packaging. This is Expedition. That's what it looks like. They won't sell for $8.50. This is what the color looks like. And I'll swatch it right here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, I know I love my purple lipstick. Absolutely love my purple lipstick. And then the other one I got is uh, Abstract. Let me get it out the box. This is the packaging. 
just beautiful. He put out a lot of things on his mind. Be painting like this. He had a lot going through his mind. Really. And this is, let me get this lipstick out. That's what the color looks like. And I'll swatch it right next to that abstract. That's just a pretty, really pretty new. Oh, this is abstract. <laughs> That's expedition. I'm part. This is expedition, and this is abstract. A pretty, pretty new lip. I really like that. I almost better not like. Uh, then I like that Max Yash because this is more my tone, my tone for some whatever reason. I like it. And then the last few things I got was a new brand. This came out, come out at Ulta, and I want to give it a try. And it's the uh, uh, Lottie London. I didn't get any shadows because I got so many shadows, but I did get this uh, concealer, and it's called. Oh wait, I'm missing something. Hmm. It's not in the box. Well, maybe I've done something with it. I got a concealer. And this concealer is, I got it covered, and it looks like that. Really light, might be too light for my tone. I'm looking for the foundation. I got a foundation stick from them too, but it's not here. I'm not sure where it is, but it's not in the box. But yeah, I want to try. It's a stick foundation, but I'll find it. If I find it, I'll do a review for you guys. The camera also was on the floor. It's all about that base. Full coverage matte stick foundation. That's what it looks like. And this is from the Ciate London. It's one I couldn't find. And um, that's what it looks like. And let me find somewhere. I guess I'll put it right here. It's really creamy. I don't know how that's going to work. But it's really orange looking. I'm going to have to take that in store. To get the perfect color. Now see that? Let me try it on the back of this hand where I don't have so much stuff. Yeah. Oh, it looks oily too. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I won't be reviewing that because I can already see that's not going to work. But yeah, and it feels really oily. It's just a foundation stick. Most foundation sticks are formulated with vitamin C and E for under tint. It don't claim to do nothing. So. I don't know about this. Don't know. I'll have to go in the store before I can do any, you know, this review on the Ciate. Ciate London. So the AM to PM liner. And uh, this is in velvet. I'll just put it right next to that concealer. It's a pretty purple. Yeah. And then I just got that black liquid liner. And it's pretty black. Pretty black. And I also picked up their uh, tan and bronze bronzer. I don't think that's going to be dark enough for my skin tone. Yeah, I know I don't think. I know it's not. It's pretty much ash-like, so I'm going to have to take that back. It's right there. I know you can't see it, but yeah. And then I wonder where that foundation is. I picked up the Shimmer Squad uh, four piece powder highlight quad. And these were some really, they look really cute on the uh, site, so I had to pick these up. Probably use all of them except for that white, because that white is really white. Let's see if I can swatch them. I'll try it right here where you guys can see it. Real soft. Ooh. That one you can't hardly see at all. That was the real light one. And that's the white one. Yeah. The lighting won't let you guys see it. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing around with this. And this is pretty much all I got. Um I don't know what happened to the I hope I didn't throw it away because for some reason my order came in two different boxes and I was like, what the hell? Why? Why? And um, it was all of my dewy stuff or whatever came in two different boxes. Oh, let me show you guys my free stuff I got too. 
I also got the Ralph Lauren Romance, which I already have, and this Paco Ray B Millionaire. Now this is new. I don't have. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. But I haven't put on any perfume today. Oh, I gotta get this. Oh, this smells good. Let me put a spray in it. Millionaire. Y'all, if you in also check this out, smell that scent. This smells awesome. I'm going to get it. When I go and take uh, this bronze back and this Too Too Light foundation, I'm picking this up. This for y'all done talking enough. I'll see you guys really soon um, in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. Alright. <laughs> Bye.